I had one experience I'll never forget um, that uh, emergency room doctor uh, called me up from Glens Falls and said um, ambulance is going to be coming by the health center in Warrensburg in a few minutes I don't think the guy is going to make it he got crushed uh, by his uh, backhoe he was charging up a backhoe and uh, recharging or jump starting it and it jump started in gear and ran him over crushed him like a roller you know steamroller fortunately it was soft ground and in those days ambulance services were starting to improve quite a bit rather than just picking up and scooping somebody and scooping somebody up and taking them to the hospital they could provide a lot of treatment along the way sometimes and one an the, the communications were getting better where one ambulance uh, department say in Lake George could communicate with one in North Creek and one in Chester and depending on what the circumstances were they could say oh I have somebody who is really good in that area and they the mutual aid worked well this guy uh, that's the phone call I got somebody's crushed I don't know if he's gonna live and uh, uh, they uh, show I uh, just go into our little treatment room I'm grabbing every piece of equipment uh, that I can think of you know staples scalpler scalpels you know intubation equipment resuscitation equipment I got a big garbage bag full of stuff I have no idea what I'm about to see and I'm standing outside waiting and the ambulance pulls up <coughs> and uh, in it is uh, are there two uh, two rescue squad two EMTs and this patient who's in a lot of respiratory distress he's laying down there and said he looked like he was about to breathe his last. He got crushed, his chest got crushed. And we tried to put a tube down, but he was too awake for us to be able to do that. We couldn't, we couldn't do that. But he looked like he was going out and the nurse said, well, you know, I think he had a pneumothorax, which is air escaping from inside the lung to the inside chest cavity, but now compressing the lung so it won't expand. So I stuck a needle in his chest on either side and he seems better and I said oh my gosh you did that <laughs> and uh, and I said to the the man I said can you move your arms and your legs are you okay can you and he gave me a thumbs up and I said step on it <laughs> so we got to the emergency room they, they had saved his life I did nothing except say step on it and went to the emergency room with the guy where he stayed for a few days and went home and I took care of him for another 15 years after but uh, so that was an ex that's an experience that sort of burnt into my mind but we've got you know lots of others of people who've presented with advanced uh, diseases or or things that we had to kind of provide care uh, at the health center because they couldn't afford hospital care or they just refused you know Glens Falls was the big city for a lot of people they didn't want to go to Glens Falls so, so we took care of a lot of people in that regard yeah.